Hi folks and welcome to part one of our video series on image views, um, collection views, and navigation controllers. Um, I hope you took the time to watch the intro video because that showed you what our final app is going to look like. So if you haven't done so, please watch the intro video and then come back to part one. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to open up Xcode. I'm going to create a new Xcode project. It'll be a single view application. Uh, I'm going to call this I uh, image collection nav demo. So let's open that up and let's save it on the desktop. Now, in this first part of the series, I'm going to do uh, most of the work required to set up the storyboard. So, I'm going to go into the storyboard, and we're going to have a single view controller, which we're going to keep. So, the first thing I need to do is I need to embed this view controller in a navigation controller. So, let's do that first. Okay. So, there we have our navigation controller. The next thing I need to do, based on our final app, is to put an image view onto this view controller. So let's go and get an image view from the library, and let's drop it on. Drop it anywhere you want, and I'm going to show you a different way to set up uh, the location and the size. So, instead of me dragging the handle, so I'm going to go over to the size inspector and I'm going to set this to 120 by 120. That's the size of the graphics or the icons that we're going to be using. So, I need to add four constraints to this image. I need a constraint for the width, a constraint for the height, and a constraint for the X, and a constraint for the Y positioning. So, the way I'm going to do this is first I'm going to drag diagonally inside the image itself, and I'm going to set the height and the width. Notice it's red because we have some constraints that are missing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag from the UI image up to the surrounding view. And I'm going to use different ones this time. Instead of using leading and trailing, I'm going to say I want it centered horizontally and centered vertically. And I'm going to press enter. Okay. It didn't move the image, but it did show me where it'll be when I run this app. A lot of people don't like the fact that it doesn't move it into the right place. There is a way to fix this. We can go up to the editor. We can go to Resolve, Auto Layout Issues, and we can just say Update Frames. When we do that, it's, it puts it where it's going to be in the final app, and that makes it really nice. So, we have our first view set up. So now, I can do the next step, and that's going to be a collection view. So I'm going to drop a collection view controller onto the screen. Now, I want to be able to segue from this view controller to this table view controller. So let's do it the way we've done it in the past. I can control, click, and drag, and notice it doesn't work. That's because images are not clickable uh, by default. In other words, you can't have an event on an image uh, straight away. So how do we fix that? It's actually a two-step process. I'm going to make sure the image view is selected, and I'm going to go up to the Attributes Inspector. In the Attribute Inspector, I'm going to say Use Interaction, or User Interna Interaction Enable. That means the user can interact with this image. But we're not finished, because if I try again, I still can't do it. The thing we also need is something called a recognizer. So I'm going to show you what that means. Let's take a look at our library if I type in, uh, if I type in a recognizer. You'll see that we have all different types of gesture recognizers. We have taps, pins, rotate, and so forth. We need a tab gesture. 
So I'm going to take the top gesture and drop it on the image. The image is now toppable. Toppable means you can click on it with your mouse in the simulator or with your finger in the real, uh, in the real device. I can now notice I don't see the tap, the tap recognizer, but it shows up here. I'm going to control drag from the recognizer over to this new view and you'll see it worked. We can now make a segue. Up until this point in the course, we've been using the present the modally. This time we're going to use the show. And we're going to see the difference in a few moments. So, I've created my image view, I've added a tap gesture recognizer, and I've added my segue. Next, we want to finish setting up the collection view. So, first thing I'll do is I'll select the collection view itself, not the controller, but the view, and we'll go over to the size inspector. We're going to make our cells 62 by 62. Just a little bit over half the size of the original image view. And you're going to see why in a few moments. So I set up the size of my cells. Next, I'm going to go to the cell itself. And I'm going to set the cell identifier to cell. So I set up the cell, and there we go. Now, the last step is this cell needs an image view. So let's go back to our image view. And let's drop an image view onto this cell. Make sure you're on the cell. Now, we want this image view to be how big? Let's do the same way we did it last time. So I'm going to say it's how big? 60 by 60. I'm also going to set its height and width. But notice the graphic is hard to touch because I only have this little sliver. So you can set the height and width constraint right on the image view just by control dragging across the uh, name. I'm going to set the height and the width. I also want to set its location in the center of the cell so I can drag from the image view up to the cell over in the outline. And I can choose uh, center center just like before. And it's not showing up in the right place, so let's go back to the editor and update the frames. So there we go. We now have the image in place. So we've now set up the majority of everything that needs to be done in the storyboard. So that's part one, and uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in part two. Bye-bye.